What's up, Gromies and fellow connoisseurs? It's Organic Grower from Organic Grower 0624 on Instagram. And I'm back with you again for another tasty episode of Getting to the Roots, presented by Homegrown Cannabis Co. This week, I fast forwarded to the present day to a strain that is dropping jaws collectively and bringing the cannabis game to yet another level. We don't have to go to a chocolate factory to find this beauty though, so buckle up ladies and gentlemen. This week, I bring you incredible runts. So sit back ladies and gentlemen, smoke that joint or consume that edible or tincture, and let's get to the roots. Runts is a beautiful 50-50 hybrid cultivar, one that utilizes deep and strong lineage. You can find multiple phenotypes of this candy strain and definitely aren't all made to look the same. I've seen runts range from perfect green toad nugs to lightly purple and green all the way to intense purple and no green until you break into the nug. There's something special about runts that captures my imagination. We all, for the most part, love purple in our flowers, yes, but the way she can present those colors is nothing short of a gift from the gods. And in my opinion, getting a random color assortment each time is half the fun with this strain. Renowned for having an intense, sweet smell and flavor, you can expect a cult-like following behind her and her candy-like appearance and smell. What person isn't going to get in that line? Nonetheless, you'll always be sure to find the sweet candy aromas coupled with tangy candy tastes with a high that will bring you warmth and comfort. Now that we have a little idea of the bud itself and how she's going to look, let's dig a little deeper into the roots and discover her parents and her history of how she came to existence. Runs is a hybrid 50-50 cross of the indulgent Skittles crossed with the world famous Gelato 33. The breeders responsible for her are the houses of the Cookies and Burner out of LA, California, as well as the Cookies crew, Ray, Nick, and Young LB. These three cookie boys were also responsible for the hyping the cookies brand uh, when it first launched. LB and Ray, as well as Nick, used the recipe that Burner had provided and created a platform to launch runs coming from the company Cookies. LB first released the strain to public at the world-known Emerald Cup in Santa Rosa, California in December of 2017. Also, a little fun fact here, uh, where the runt name came from, it's 100% a tip of the hat to the plant's size and yield, being that runt's yield is about 30% lower than average strains. You won't see big fat colas with her, instead little bite-sized chunks everywhere. With Skittles lineage coming from the bee strain Grape Ape and the gorgeous Grapefruit, and Gelato 33 coming from Sunset Sherbert crossed with Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies, Runs has a pedigree that won't let even the most experienced cultivator down. I mean, good God, guys. Take a second and think about the strains just listed. Talk about the white flame of the fire pit. What kind of high can you expect from Runs, though? Well, being very sedative and euphoric, this chick will leave you in the street chasing parked cars. <laughs> Not really, but you can get you get the point. She has a very relaxing and mellowing high that sits heavily in the mind, while any stress or pain being smoothed away with ease. The top terpenes found in her are carophylline, limonene, and linalool. Carophylline being the biggest contributor here, uh, it acts almost like the backbone of the flower, providing dank, heavy, rich gas coupled with citrusy lemon, as well as a pleasant, sweet floralness of the linalool. Wow guys, what a colorful journey so far into the roots of this incredible medicine. Let's dig even deeper into her roots and discover the best growing practices for her to maximize your experience with her at home. With a medium range flowering time of eight to nine weeks, she's a great cultivar to grow through early spring into late fall and enjoy her beautiful hues. Growing indoors and outdoors will produce about uh, 400 to 450 grams per plant outdoor and indoor being around 400 to 450 grams per meter. 
Some growers swear by outdoor with her claiming she thrives outside and produces higher yields as well as better flavor and better aroma. If growing indoors, try having a consistent fresh air recirculation in your space to mimic outdoor air movement. Even micromanaging your light cycle to turn off uh, with the light and the light change outside, getting as close to as possible uh, to outdoor growing variables will likely produce those higher qualities. But, you know, with that, that goes for every strain, ladies and gentlemen, not just runs. She is uh, very low maintenance and is extremely hardy. She's a great candidate for sea of green and scrog type growth styles uh, and is found to be successful in a variety of substrates ranging from soil to rock wool to cocoa and hydro. You guys, if these past few minutes has made you have any sudden urge to grow this incredible strain, head over to Homegrown Cannabis Co. and check out all their high quality stable genetics, including runts and many more. With that, my time is up, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to thank all of you listeners out there for taking the time to tune in to this podcast and take the journey with me and learn where these incredible medicines come from. And listen, guys, that's not all. If you want to know even more in-depth knowledge on growing techniques, nutrient lines, debunking myths, and countless other topics, check out my homie Chronic on the Grow Weed at Home podcast, brought to everybody by HomegrownCannabisCo.com. He's straight putting this to bed and bringing insane knowledge about everyday aspects at home to help you guys become even better growers. He's made me hella proud watching him grow, and I know with 100% certainty, you'll all be in the best of hands. Also, I want to thank Homegrown Cannabis Co. for letting me put this podcast on for you amazing listeners. It's definitely something I love to do, and I love to bring this knowledge and share what I know and share my passion with you guys, and hopefully teach a little bit and help you guys at home as well. Uh, And with that, Gromies, much love and forever my respect. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about growing your own cannabis at home, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to keep up to date with the amazing marijuana content Homegrown Cannabis Co. has to offer. See you next time.